Uh, this was the message delivered by the Philippine president and the Bandador for the diplomatic corps in the Philippines early today, June 12th in the Philippines. They're already evening there. And it says, 115 years ago, our nation gained its independence and with it the sacred responsibility of protecting and fulfilling the promise of liberty. Today, as one nation, we reaffirm this commitment just as our heroes and martyrs paid the ultimate price for our freedom as Filipinos. Each and every one of us, my compatriots in the audience, is asked to do the part in building an even more progressive nation. Whether one is in the highest ranks of government, or on employee in any company, or an overseas Filipino worker working in distant shores. As we focus our efforts on lifting our nation to greater heights, let us remember, fellow compatriots, that it is by being productive and responsible citizens, by performing our tasks to the best of our abilities, and by giving to our fellow men their due that we contribute to making our society truly more just and more equitable. On this day, we also renew our collective pledge to foster an international environment of positive engagement. Your Excellencies, as we all work to strengthen cooperation and promote dialogue, all of us will always, you will always find partners in the Filipino people and their government. It is my hope, says the President, as uh, he strives for more meaningful and lasting reform in the Philippines, that you will continue uh, working with us in realizing the full potential of the Filipino people and in finding solutions to the challenges that we collectively face. On this note, Your Excellencies, uh, my fellow workers in government, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to join me in a toast. Please imagine I have a glass. <laughs> to the continued partnership between Philippines and Belgium, the European Union, and all of you, our friends, from all the countries of the world, may we always endeavor to promote peace, amity, and unity for the advancement of humankind. To my fellow workers in government, may you remain faithful to serving the people and the republic. To our overseas Filipino workers, we have 10 million of them in 200 countries. For those of you who don't have them yet, they're coming. <laughs> and you allow them. Uh, for their dedication and sacrifice, may their hard work rebound and redound and further contribute to a Philippine that they can come home to with pride and confidence. And to the future and continued success of all the peoples of the world, may the examples of our all our heroes from where we all come from guide us as we tread the straight path to equitable progress. Message from this excellency the Philippine President. Thank you very much. Mabuhay! Long life! Mabuhay! Okay. Salud! And I see my Polish friend, Estola. Sorry, I don't know the rest. Thank you. <laughs>